Hey guys, welcome back. Now this is the D2 Pixel Art uh, Bluetooth speaker, all right? Made by a company called Devoom. And man, I've had this for a couple of weeks now, and I have to say, this is probably the most fun I've had reviewing any product. So yeah, this is a Bluetooth speaker, but it is so much more than that. Now, first of all, I mean, I'm inclined to call it a novelty, like a gift or a novelty toy, but it's kind of a disservice to it because the, it's packed full of different features and it kind of does everything pretty well. Now, first of all, it has this sort of like a retro pixel art display, uh, which is about 16 by 16 pixels and it is so cute, all right? It is amazing. I absolutely love this. The amount of customizability you get with this uh, to change to different pictures and not just like still pictures, but you can see like animated pictures. All you need to do is just download the Devoom app, all right, pair it with the speaker, and of course, you get full control, you can change uh, to different pictures and all that. And if you connect it to your phone, it's more than just uh, transmitting pictures. Now, you also get full notification, right? So if you get a WhatsApp message or uh, social media notifications, all that it actually shows here. So if you don't have your phone with you, uh, if it shows the notification here, then you know that you've got that notification on your phone as well. So like I said, it's a Bluetooth speaker. So yeah, it actually works and it also has a microphone. So I can actually answer calls with this and not even pick up my phone. I can just use this to speak to whoever I'm talking to. And speaking of materials, I have to say that it's actually pretty well built. Uh, I expected it to be kind of like, you know, really light and plasticky. And I mean, it's probably plastic, but it seems to be a really solid plastic and it has a good weight to it too. Now at the side of the speaker, you get your power button to switch it on and off. You get a type C port, all right? And yes, it does come with a type C charger. Great job, Devoom, for using type C and not micro USB. But you also have a micro SD slot here, right? So you can actually plug in, like you can use SD card, put in music and you can play from the SD card as well. Really, really good. Now it also has a built-in 3000 milliamp battery, which honestly for the two weeks that I've been playing around with it, I haven't had the need to charge it yet. Now the keys here. So these are Otemu, I think they pronounce Otemu, are blue switches, all right, which are considered more budget compared to Cherry MX Switch, but I mean, it, that's totally fine. It still sounds really nice. Uh, it feels like legit mechanical keys. Now, like I said, this is chock full of different features. Uh, and it's more than I can actually go through in this review video, but I'm just gonna go through my favorites. And the first one, obviously, is a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, you can play music from your phone. And I gotta admit, when I saw this product, I thought that all the attention would go to the screen and making it really cool and building that community so people can create their own pixel art. And yes, you can create your own pixel art as well. And so I expected the speaker to be sort of an afterthought. I thought they would just use the cheapest one I have to say, it sounds very respectable. And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go All right, so you just had a very quick audio test of the D2 uh, Bluetooth speaker. Now, like I said, it's respectable. It's a lot better than I expected it to be. Now, I used that Deity uh, S-Mic 2S and I think it did a pretty good job of picking up how it sounds. But yeah, it sounds really good. It's got a good body to it. It didn't sound tinny or, or like really cheap speakers. It, I would say in terms of audio quality, a very easy 8 out of 10. Now, another thing is that you can actually play games on this as well and using the keys here and this so-called like lever or joystick, I'm not sure what you call this. Uh, but yeah, so you can play Tetris. There are a few other games that you can play. And what I think was a really good idea uh, by Devoom is that you don't just have to use these keys. If you go to the app and you say, and you want to play the game, you can actually use your phone uh, and you have, you know, uh, controllers on the screen to play the game as well. Now you also have this mixer uh, feature where, you know, there are a few different things in it actually. You have different instruments that you can play and then you get visualizations on the screen, uh, like piano, xylophone, uh, the drums, we've got a MIDI synthesizer as well. It, it, it's incredible. And yes, speaking of visualizations, you can set it to play visualizations while you play music on it and well i mean like i said i really really like it now there are other great features as well like you can use it as a daily planner you can set alarms and all that 
Uh, you can also create and record voice memos on it, which is a really good idea and I would have never thought of that. Uh, but yeah, there are other features in there and I can't go through all of them because there's just way too many. All right, so let's talk about the price. So you can get this on the Devon website for about $79.99 US dollars, basically 80 US dollars. Uh, and there are actually about six different colors that you can choose from, but this color combination is my favorite. And actually, if you go to the website, you can see that a whole bunch of different products, uh, all with screens, different size screens as well, some that are just screens, some that are screen and Bluetooth speaker as well, but a bit smaller. They even have a backpack with a sort of pixel art display. Absolutely incredible. So if you guys want to see any of those other products and have me review them, uh, do put a comment in the video description below and I'll see what I can do. So is there anything I don't like about it? Now, honestly, no. It does way more than I expected it to be. However, I still feel that there are a couple of missed opportunities. Now, one is, like I said, it's got that six keys here. Now, they could have easily made it so that I could plug this into my PC or my laptop, and then I would have extra keys that I could, you know, uh, customize shortcuts or macros. It would have made it a lot more practical than it already is. So yeah, imagine like if you use a certain program, like if you like Premiere Pro or Photoshop, you can have six additional macro keys uh, to a, for different commands. And also it has like plus and minus to control uh, the volume of your phone and your Bluetooth speaker. Now, it would have been really cool that if you could have set it so that if you plug it into your PC or your laptop, you can actually control the volume of your PC or laptop here as well. And one more thing, and I know this is a bit of a stretch, but considering the screen, considering how good I think the speaker is, uh, it would have been really nice if, or like maybe in a future model, if they actually added a Google Home integration in this, that would be it for me. I think even if it was 20, 30, maybe $40 more, I would still buy it because in my opinion, it actually sounds better than the Google Home Mini. Okay, not the Google Home, the Google Home Mini. Uh, and I mean, if it was a bit more expensive, I would definitely buy it because of the extra customizability that you get. And imagine if like the Google Home speaks to you and you get like a animation here as well, it would be incredible. I would easily buy one for every room that I have. So the question of course is, would I buy this uh, D2 Bluetooth speaker? And I think you know the answer is gonna be a big fat yes. I mean, if you are into the sort of pixel art display or even if you just wanna get a, a pretty decent Bluetooth speaker, this is a fantastic option. I, I'm blown away by this. I think it's really cute, it's really fun. Um, it does everything that it says and more. I mean, it gives you so much more features that I didn't expect out of this. Uh, and yeah, I mean, from the start, when I opened it, I, I kind of fell in love with the design and everything. So I think you know where I'm going with this. A full five out of five stars and a Technobabble recommended logo. All right, so that about wraps up my review of one of the most fun uh, products I've ever reviewed, the D2 Bluetooth speaker. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do, and I will love it if you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP, and I'll see you real soon.